Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Vino Optic Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about the conceit of knowledge. And really what I mean by this is the illusion of knowledge and the conceit that one really understands when one doesn't. Now this is topical today because it's November, uh, late November in 2020. And since March and COVID hysteria hit us, much of the world thinks that they fully understand how society and the economy works and all of the implications and implications upon implications, so much so that they can decide who shall be essential and whose businesses are okay to go out of business and what, how restaurants should be run and how the world should be run. And they imagine that they understand the consequences of this. And in fact, the consequences have been disastrous, which I won't go into today. But I wanna, what I want to talk about is a couple ways, broad categories of ways in which we, you and I, don't understand the complexities of society around us. There's self-organization, which I'll briefly talk about, and there's the design that's baked in that we don't understand. The self-organization part, the self-organized aspects of society and the economy are what underlies um, the economy, for example. We have all of these distinct individuals decentralized everywhere. Each of them has a price for their product that finds an equilibrium that makes sense for that person in that particular place. And these, this, these prices are distributed everywhere. They're not something any centralized authority can know. And it's those sorts of things which allow economies to run as they do, as well as they do. And it needs to be decentralized like this. The implications of stopping these particular parts of it or messing with these particular parts have lots of unintended consequences that even economists can't often predict. That's the self-organized side. And often people like to imagine that's the main thing. In fact, in biology, often physics types imagine that you can think of all animals as self-organized. Sort of the Santa Fe Institute kind of style of thinking 25 years ago and still to this day is that everything is self-organized. You can understand it's self-organized. The problem with thinking about it purely as self-organized rather than there being design is that, and here's what I made to imagine. Imagine all of the life that has ever existed here and there's just like just trillions upon trillions of different distinct species and going down and then boop this one disappears this one is they're mostly disappearing they go they go extinct but over time some of them survive and they make more babies and then boop they die and so you have the ones that are still remaining at the bottom these few survivors who themselves are you know, diverging these few survivors aren't merely self-organized creatures because every single thing that was streaming down here was self-organized these tiniest little fraction that made it through all of this are the ones that are designed by selection, by natural selection in this case, to do stuff. There, there's immense design baked into them, and you can't understand them as just self-organized systems. You have to understand what they're designed for. Society and the economy is filled with design as well. And we often don't recognize what it is because it's not designed by any particular person. It's not designed by a committee. It's under cultural selection over time. Sometimes we can identify some aspects of the design and sometimes we never can. So for example, in my research, I've shown that highway networks, how thick highway, you know, uh, how many lanes highways have, how long, that they, how long they are, how many exits, like synapses in some sense, how dense they become. In cities, as they scale from tiny little towns all the way to the size of New York City, there's clear laws that they follow in terms of how these highway networks scale. This is not something written in some engineering, highway engineering book. This is something that happens over time in each city. They try to struggle with, okay, what do we need to do now? Let's try to do this. And it's found these, these engineered designed sweet spots. Society is filled with these sweet spots that it's discovered over time. And when you mess with parts of these systems, you mess with these pieces of design that nobody understands and has even identified. We need to stop believing that we understand how this all works and that we can just selectively on the basis of one potential threat, undo society and think that it's everything's gonna be okay. Because it's not. And that was your science moment.